Hey, 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 everybody, what's up? It's your man, Chuck Ruffin on What's Up, Chuck. Coming at you live at 5 o'clock on the Pacific Coast. It's been a little bit. It's Wednesday in the evening. Um, it is my day that I actually have to go in and do my first shift at the C-SPOC tonight as a 100% certified theater watch officer. As you can see, my daughter Aurelia is hanging out with me for a little bit today. She gets really excited about these, so... Uh, I told her it's okay for her to hang out for a minute and watch as I go live. So thank you for joining me. What's up, Clay? How you doing, brother? Appreciate it, man. Thanks for all the support and the assistance on the streaming. Um, hey, you guys like my new background? Alyssa decided to pull this out of storage and bring it out so that way uh, I had something in behind me. I've been using a couple of other things up here, you know, kind of like Alyssa's logo and the Mission 22 logo, and then I've got the What's Up Chuck sign right here, yeah. which I love the graphic right now, and Jack Kiesling was really kind to make it, you know, really randomly when I got this page launched, but I'm thinking I want to upgrade, so if anybody's got any graphic artist ideas, you know, please let me know, because I'm looking for upgrades on the What's Up Chuck banner. I want to keep the same concept, because I love it, uh, but, you know, I, I would love to get a little bit more pro going, you know, um, not have to spend too much money if any at all uh definitely would love to try and improve oh the gosh. graphics so I'm i got a lot to talk to you today and um I'm looking at these questions right now and i'm already getting halloween vibes oh yeah so <laughs> the questions that proposed by chris earlier today which i haven't seen him jump on yet um are pretty intense but i'm going to cover a few topics first that i have in my handy dandy notebook i'm going with the military green close, style close. the green manster close. So, of course, as always, what I like to do is bring up Alyssa's campaign uh, because it is still ongoing. We've got just over 30 days left on the Indiegogo campaign. Uh, the other day, Christina Mandrell, she bought the general package. And I tell you what, that was the most emotional thing that Alyssa had seen because having a friend like that believe in her enough to purchase the package is intense because that set us almost to the 2000 goal. And uh, that's really close for her to at least get another song on top of what she's already going to be recording here soon. So her and Scott Wilson are currently in the talks of, you know, coordinating times and schedules and stuff. So she will be traveling out to Colorado eventually, uh, really soon, whenever Scott's schedule slows down. And she will definitely be recording her next song. So Sadly, most people in our family right now, like in the house, are sick. Yeah. For example, my sister. <laughs> Yeah, the kids aren't feeling too well these days, yeah, so it's kind of rough sick. on them. I think I just got sick because I took the Tylenol yeah. today. It's okay. We'll get better. All right, so on top of that, um, Alyssa's campaign is launching. We've got some good news coming. Alyssa is going to be launching a new merch store, yep. and I'm going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek. I won't share the URL right now because she does not want this out there yet, but I'll show you what the <laughs> website looks like, and you guys can give me feedback. <laughs> So there's the cover page. We have a lot of new merchandise products available. We got some hats on the market. Mm -hmm. Got these really awesome crop top hoodies. I really, um, really needed those hoodies. Yeah, Ale I really Aurelia like is them. loving them so much. We have these unisex tribland t-shirts for some specific friends. Uh, these hoodies right here, if you click on them, you yeah. know, when you go in there, it shows you the pictures of what colors they come in. We also have different options, different variations, so please, you know, take your time when we do launch it mm -hmm. and and go through the products. We got some coffee mugs, some cool crop tops, some zip up hoodies, baseball tees, so we got everything um, you know, that caters to each gender, whether you be male or female. So, you know, we will be launching that soon as a way to help continue raise money for Alyssa's campaign so you know it's all about her merchandise it's all about her product it's all about marketing her brand it's all about trying to get her you know out there recording on the streets and performing in front of everybody because I think that's what everybody wants the most is is to see her actually out there doing the thing that she loves the best and that is you know creating music writing music singing music and I'm telling you what 
you know, the past couple of days have been pretty rough because, like Aurelia was saying, we've been kind of sick. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if you can hear me. I'm kind of uh, congested right now, which I was telling Chris I got sick again, and it's been – <laughs> it's been a week. Why, thank you, Chris. I look so lumberjackish. Yeah, <laughs> it's perfect flannel weather right now. Yeah, it's it's beautiful outside. And I am wearing the disgruntled shirt underneath here. There's the the vet fest shirt underneath. Uh, I I put it on earlier, but I had to go to the grocery store and and it was a little chilly, so I threw on my flannel. Oh, and then I got my uh, my coffee cup right here. Yep. I will be working tonight, by the way, from 11 to 7 a.m. So this is just my pick me up before I take my nap. <laughs> uh, it's just to help me, you know, kind of get through the rest of the Chris. evening. <clears throat> I'm gonna dress myself here so I look a little bit more appropriate. So that's what we go going on with Alyssa Ruffin. Uh, she will be launching the products page soon. We're not quite done with uh, loading all the products yet. We'll probably take until the end of the weekend. I think Alyssa's thinking about putting it out there on Sunday. So. Be on the lookout after Halloween, all the trick or treating's done, Chilling. and all the adult trick or treating is done, and the adult partying this weekend. Be on the lookout on Sunday for the line of Alyssa Ruffin's merchandise it's coming to you. It's a drop on demand purchase and shipping. Uh, Aurelia said hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Um, Todd is Chris's husband. Oh. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. All right. So, what else do I got? Oh. I wanted to get a shout out to my friend Allison. She's been doing so good with her new nonprofit, Flags for the Fallen. And I just wanted to put her Flags for the Fallen out there for a minute. I wanted to say congratulations on getting this up and running. I wanted to say I'm super proud of you for what you are doing for the community. I'm pretty sure that your family members are super proud of what you're doing for the community. I know your mom was out there helping you. Uh, last weekend, um, you know, God bless you being able to go out and support something like this. You know, you you recognized a need that the community could benefit for, knowing that there is a ton of veterans out Hi. there that are buried in the local area. What's up, cuz? How you doing, Brittany? Cuz, um, you know, and you went above and beyond and created this nonprofit, Flags for the Fallen, and now you're out there building PVC holders, uh, putting the flags out there on these grave oh, the sites for veterans. Um, you know, it's it's amazing to see how far it's come. And so if you got an invite from me today, uh, I just invited my whole entire friends list to the Flags for the Fallen Facebook page, which is what you saw earlier. There's also a Facebook group. Um, that helps her interact with people and create the events. So if you're in the Oklahoma area um, or if you're in other nearby states and you're interested in starting up something yourself, reach out to her and maybe this could be something that you can do for your community and you can kind of pick her brain and see what it took uh, her to actually get up and, and go out there and do. So I'm super proud of her, Allison. Uh, congratulations. I know you're not on right now, but when you do, hopefully you get to see the tag I put you on there. So. Hello, Samantha. Hello, Samantha Bridges. Uh, being salty at the moment. Why are you being salty, Brit? Don't be salty. <laughs> um, all right, Chris Gulick. Also wanted to recognize my friend Chris Gulick, and I'm going to put up my sneak peek window again. And he's got a page called the Token Civilian Friends. All right. Now, I don't know how well this is translating to all my friends and family. But what I want to do is kind of try and explain it. So that way people can understand what the token civilian friends concept is. So here it is. Here is the token civilians Facebook page. All right. And in the group here, he posts events that are related to veterans. He goes above and beyond and puts like a really great description on it. This is our friend Jeremy Gordon. He's needing some help. He's got a GoFundMe page supporting an Afghan dog that he's adopted, turning into a service dog. You can see me commenting there here's mr chris gulick doing his 22 push-ups every single day here's one of his most recent posts today is day 301 approximately 6,000 veterans has taken their lives as up to this day and here is what he's doing he's doing 22 push-ups he's got his swag on his kilted og units going on okay and he's he's just the man he's the myth he's so much more a legend so I wanted to put it out there. The token civilian friends, if you have not served in the military, yet you support your military members like Chris Gulick has, 
and you want to contribute or you support what their endeavors are, or you try to help them after they get out of military service, whatever have you, and but you just couldn't serve your country uh, because of one reason or another. Maybe you didn't feel like it's the right time for you. Maybe it's just not something that was instilled in you when you were younger. Maybe you had medical problems, or maybe you just could not do it or bring yourself to go in and do it. That's perfectly fine. But if you serve your country in another way by supporting us veterans Allison and supporting our active duty, Allison you know, said. that's one way that you can support by joining the Token Civilian Friends and being a part of the community that is supporting our military and our veterans. So please, if I've invited you to that group, um, I'm trying to pick out people that are either military related or friends that are no military, because most of my friends are military. Um, join the group. Be a part of what Chris is doing. Share his posts about the 22 push-ups. Try and contribute and be a part of things that uh, are supporting us, you know, because we want to spread awareness. We want to help people. We want to help our friends, and we never know what a resource that might present itself uh, might be able to help you. So what were you saying, Aurelia? Sorry, my co-host wants to say something. Um, Oh, she's wanting to scroll now. She's taking over my mouse. <laughs> uh, okay, what are we looking at? Allison, Allison says, said, okay. you can donate on the website as well or send flags to our P.O. box. Oh, good catch, Aurelia. Good catch. That's awesome. Yeah, so be sure to do that. Go to the page, donate. Um, I think you can also create fa Facebook fundraisers too, and if you want to help out, that'd be really helpful for her. Um. Awesome. Chris Gulick is sharing this video to the TCF. Fantastic. So hopefully they get to see me putting uh, the word out for Mr. Chris Gulick. Uh, Little Caesars doesn't carry your cinnamon bites anymore. I'm sorry, Brittany. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but for Kentucky, I can see that could be a, a huge issue because you are not able to get your cinnamon bites anymore. <laughs> can we do the questions? Um, all right, so let's next on my thing. I did Chris Gulick. I wanted to recognize a friend, Cody Pegram. Um, he's out in Colorado Springs. Uh, I've been kind of super motivated by his post recently because he's been sharing uh, posts about m fellow musicians or, and uh, artists that he knows of in the Colorado Springs area. And he's just basically putting the word out about how much they mean to them. And it's, I think it's impressive that somebody is that bold to be able to tell people how they feel in a public forum. And, I, and it's really good for mental health. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to take my elixir so that way I don't sound too crummy. <laughs> yeah, Allison, looking out, huh? She's, she's got your back even all the way over here. So, yeah, shout out to Cody Pregram. Um, if you're not listening, I, it's all right. I'm not, not too worried. But uh, all right. I'm glad that you're doing your post, man. I look forward to seeing more. All right, so my questions today. Chris, Mr. Chris Gulick posted one, and then uh, Todd Todd posted one too, uh, which I I think I want to touch on that one after I answer a couple of these. So here's my questions, Chris Gulick. Let's see. Why? What are the girls being for Halloween? Aurelia, would you I like to share with yes. the, the crowd? You can come up here. I am being Audrey from Descendants 3. I think I you guys scoot up. This person over here, she's... This person over here, this is her. She's being Audrey from Descendants 3. She's and dressed up in a purple wig and long gown. Daddy. Yes, ma'am. Um, and the TV's not letting me okay. go to any. Wait, Wait. Maybe I'll be Wait. Wait. go help your sister real quick, and then I'll let you continue, okay? Go help okay. her. She's going to help you. <laughs> All right. So the girls are going to be several different characters. I'll let her explain it to you, but um, they're awesome. Uh, that sexy cold voice is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, I told you, Chris, I was sick. I was not joking around that I had a cold. And I'm just a little congested, but I'll be fine. You know, I've been taking medicine, and I've been drowning Alyssa in medicine, too, because she's been sick for the past couple weeks. All right, people, I'm um, back. Oh, wow, she's back. Okay. All right. So please explain what you're going to be. Can you right. hear us? Can you I guys hear? I'm being Audrey from Descendants 3. She's my favorite character. And I chose her because, one, she's beautiful. And, two, as I said, she's my favorite character. And Aviana, um, the second oldest, well, kind of third oldest, is being Evie from Descendants 3. Because she just, yeah, she just, like, 
wanted to like be in the Descendants kind of vibe, and yeah. Oh, and I have to turn my light on. My youngest sister, That's she better. is going to be. Is she going to be? Uh, I think this time she's going to be the good witch, I believe, maybe. Either or she's going to be the fairy. I'm not sure yet. She's either going to be a fairy, a witch, or Harley Quinn. Yeah, she's got a couple options because we have some hand-me-down costumes. Yeah. So that's what the girls are going to be. Yep. Um, and then th I'm going to roll into what Alyssa and I are going to be for Halloween. We haven't decided. <laughs> Usually what we do is we try to dress up and, and match with the girls. Uh, but this year, like, it's been so busy. Um we haven't really decided or put it out there what we're going to do. So we'll figure something out. He was going to try to be Hades, but... Uh, yeah, I was going to be Hades with the cool blue hair. If you haven't watched Descendants 3 yet, watch the movie. It's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'll probably be uh, a dad, and <laughs> Alyssa will be a mom, and we Whoa. will do our best at trick-or-treating. <laughs> so usually we do, like, a couple's thing. We won a, a couple's costume contest years ago, dressing up as SWAT and police officer um, outfits. Alyssa was the sexy cop, and I was the... SWAT officer, and we won like 250 bucks and free drinks and whatnot. That was pretty cool. <clears throat> um, I do love candy corn. You asked me if I like it. I love it. If I, I could eat any candy in the world, like every single day for the rest of my life without reaping the effects of candy corn, I would eat it all day. <laughs> yes, I love candy corn. Yeah. It is the most sugary, most like greasy type substance also, like on your teeth. And also, but it's amazing. It's, it's the delicious. Classic actual Halloween candy. It's a classic Halloween yeah. candy. You can't go wrong with candy corn. Yeah. Unless I know, I'm sorry. Candy corn is freaking awesome. It is. I know. All right. Um, have I looked up Pigs in Space on YouTube yet? Uh, no, I have not. I have had no like <laughs> trigger in my life to say, hey, I should Google what Pigs in Space is in uh, on YouTube so I can answer Chris's question. So I am so sorry that I have not done that. I will add it to my to-do list now that I have questions Number asking me. What are we doing for New Year's? What are we doing for New Year's? We don't plan that far ahead. We're parents. Yeah. Everything changes we don't at, plan at a drop of a dime. Soon. Um, we only plan so like once it's, like it's up in the air at the moment. To. And I'm pretty sure if you start making plans with us now, one thing will lead to another and we'll probably change it at last minute. So Say Taquito if you're excited for 2020. <laughs> Taquito! <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it is. Pigs in Space is pretty fun. Um. <laughs> Let's see. As we have just 63 days remaining in this decade, what are your biggest accomplishments? What's been your favorite place to travel? Would you do anything different in the last 10 years? That's a lot of loaded questions all in one. Like I said, that's three questions in one. Um, what are my biggest accomplishments? Well, for this year, actually, would be me graduating the L.A. Film School. Um, I'm graduating. Like, right now, my last class is happening right now. And my graduation date is set for December 13th. So I will be an official graduate of the L.A. Film School in music production this year. So Good job. It's pretty awesome to finally be done with that degree because now I can move on and finish my master's degree. Congratulations. And uh, that would be another goal that I'm looking forward to. So <laughs> um, that would be one of my biggest accomplishments. Uh, second would be moving here <laughs> oh, to California. Oh, loaded questions into my specialty. And, uh, you You're know, right. taking on a new job. That's a big accomplishment. And then, of course, yeah. Alyssa um, taking on her endeavor of, <laughs> I know, I saw it. I saw what Chris said. <laughs> she's, she's, she's trying to make sure I read every comment you post, Chris. I'm just saying. You're that special. <laughs> All right. It's okay. She's the best <laughs> co-host ever. Um. Yeah, so that would be my second most accomplishment. Um, oh, you already answered the number Okay, six. what's been my favorite place to travel? Ah, uh, shoot. You know, unfortunately, I, ha I have been to many more places than Alyssa has, but I also love France. I went to France <gasps> in 2001. Lucky. Uh, when I was in high school, I went on a... Uh, overseas trip for school i was in high school taking college classes Lucky. um and so i went on an overseas trip to france i got to see paris in person i got to travel uh to saint malo i got to travel to uh, belle Isle. um i got to do all the things in the northern province of france and it was beautiful that was hands down one of my best places <laughs> i've ever been to um i do miss germany so uh I, if i can go back to germany i would love to do that but Favorite place to travel with my family 
would be Washington, D.C. and New York City. Uh, both reasons because my kids were still, well, Aurelia was still pretty young. Don't touch yet. I am still talking. Oh. <laughs> All right. So what is she doing? What's happening? What does she want me to look at? What am I looking at? That's right. I'm that special. Snap work. Yeah. Yeah. Pop question. Mm-hmm. So, yes. One reason being uh, New York City, I got to travel with my whole family. That was the first, like, big family trip we were able to take out of state. Uh, we were living in Washington, D.C. at the time, and my father-in-law, Roger, uh, God rest his soul, uh, passed away last September, um, was able to come with us. My brother-in-law, uh, Aurelia, was a wee bit. We went actually for her birthday. We went to New York City. That was her birthday present. Yeah. Um, and I planned this whole trip, and we got to see everything. It was awesome. And then, of course, Washington, D.C. We lived uh, right there because I was attending school at the National Intelligence University in 2012 to 13, uh, where I met some of the greatest friends I've ever met in my life. Um, but also a really cool place uh, with my family. So, uh, Would you do anything different in the last 10 years? Uh, there is something I would do differently in the last 10 years, but I don't know if I want to put that out here on the public forum. Uh, it's a little bit personal as far as family is concerned um but you know on a personal level ask me and i'll definitely let you know because you know on the media sources it's probably not appropriate because i have to protect identities and things so for, for um, all y'all who know what visco girls is, are oh yeah there's her yeah. visco girl representation so um that's been a new thing as a parent that i have had to learn is what a visco girl is go washington nationals really chris really all right we're doing that. Um, let's see. I already answered question number six. How old is too old to go trick-or-treating? Never. You can go trick-or-treating up until the day you die. Because I think yep. the older you get, the scarier you get, especially when you get old and smelly and creepy and make weird noises and, mm -hmm. and do cool things. Yeah. I'm I'm one of those people that likes to dress up in my, like, haunted skeleton mask yeah. and, like, drive down the road and, like, scare kids in the back seats of cars <laughs> as they're looking like, ooh. I've actually done that a couple of times. Make kids cry. It's great. <laughs> What's your favorite guilty um, pleasure, food-wise, music-wise, television-wise, and movie-wise? Favorite guilty pleasure, food-wise? Uh, well, I don't know. Pizza is always something that I enjoy eating. <laughs> I feel like a child because that's the childhood answer that you always give your teacher. Like, what's your favorite food? Pizza. Mine is pizza. <laughs> um, I do love myself some but shrimp scampi, though. You're never too old. To like pizza. Yeah, never too old to like pizza. <laughs> uh, my favorite guilty pleasure music-wise, not a lot of people know this, but I'm a metalhead. I love metal. I love country. Don't get me wrong. I'm wearing a flannel. I got America behind me. I'm in, you know, the United States of American Air Force. Uh, you know, I'm a true American. I love that country stuff. And but I also love hard rock and metal. I love it. It's um, It gets me going. And you know how I know he actually loves I like to listen to it loves country? on he, the radio. Well, sometimes he actually uses a fake accent. So sometimes. That's, that's how we know. He hey, my mom joined. Country. What's up, mom? How you doing, mom? Say hi to Oma. Hi, Oma. Uh, Television-wise and movie-wise. So TV, recently I would have been watching. <laughs> uh, we watched The Expanse. Uh, we watched this recent series me and Alyssa did called Into the Dark. It was about a girl who was blind, and she ended up being, like, stuck in this... Uh, it's kind of like a crime mystery kind of deal. Um, it was kind of good. And then, uh, let's see. What else? I love anything yep. sci-fi. Sci-fi gets me going. Chris, yeah. Marvel comics, that's also my thing. Um, I love Marvel. Those are any you know superhero fake type stuff. You did. What fake accent thing? Like the thing you did. My you country one? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm a man of many voices. Uh, I've got lots of voices. I do. I could do like a Donald Duck. That was my Donald Duck. Probably really bad on the speaker thing, but um, oh boy, my Mickey Mouse. I can do Mickey Mouse. Kind of mastered that one over can the years. Can't Goofy? really do it with the congestion. <laughs> you know. So I don't know if I could do a Scottish accent. I've tried to do a many accents over the times and I can only do a few of them that are close to accurate and that's probably the best one I could do this is right the closest now. I can get to an accent um, I 
can't do many more. I've got a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> anyways, and then my last nice. question that Chris asked, have I ever chucked wood? So here's the thing. Well, <laughs> Chuck, a long what? time ago, my Chuck. name was not Chuck. And here's the proof. What? <sighs> David? My middle name is David. Before I joined the United States Air Force, I went by David my entire life. Yep. And uh, that is something that my parents still call me today yep. is David. And so the funny part about it is that I didn't get named Chuck until I joined the military. Oh, and Jay, speaking of Donald so Duck, So before I joined the military, the I, uh, I actually did Chuck Wood, but I wasn't called Chuck. My grandfather was Charles. Um, he was not called Chuck. He was called <laughs> Fat. <laughs> Uh, speaking of Donald Duck, have you seen the full metal jacket in the Donald voice and Goofy voice? It's the best thing ever. No, I have not. Brittany, I'm not disregarding your question about Kurt Cobain. I know you want me to answer it really badly, so let me go up here and see what you said. Do you think Kurt Cobain was murdered? I love a good conspiracy theory. <coughs> that was a really long time ago. I do not think that Kurt Cobain himself, I don't know. I it goes both ways, right? Like, he was a drug addict. And at that time, you know, drugs were a thing. Sorry, I'm the um, drug is crazy person to my mom's and music back there. I don't know what uh, could have happened. I know that his relationship wasn't the greatest, and maybe it could have been facilitated. Maybe it could have been accidental. Maybe it could have been just one of those really bad chip trips and something happened and, you know, people are getting out of it. What's up, Travis? How you doing, buddy? Thanks for joining, man. What's up, Travis? Um, so Kurt Cobain's death is a mystery and it will remain a mystery to me because I'm not a detective <laughs> and if the truth ever does come out um, you know Courtney Love uh, uh, whatever you know truth does come out it'll be a, a story for the times and hopefully people will rest at ease knowing what the truth actually is so mm. alright so Todd asked a question and I want to see if I can find it um, let me see here. I know he posted it on my Ask Me Anything. There it is. Dude, you who, have to do who in your life growing up do you credit with your ability to individualize the passion you interject into your family, your job, and the world around you? That is an amazing question and a pretty huge one for me to answer. So, um, Brittany, if you have a big, long theory, please share it to me someday and let me know. Uh, she is my spirit oh, co-host. I do the same to Chris. God. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, David Ruffin. Nope, that's not. Yeah, actually, so if you look up David Ruffin, you'll find the Temptations. And I'm telling you, that's been my name my entire life up until I joined the military 15 years ago. Um, who do I credit with my ability to individualize the passion I interject in my family, job, and the world around me? Um I, I would honestly have to credit my my mom and my dad. That's a really bright light. Don't touch. Don't touchy. No touchy. No touchy. Okay. I would have to say that my father is... Oh, there it is. That's the one I... Yeah, all right. Cool. She's up there now. My, my dad is definitely the one that I have to contribute or attribute my passion for the things that I do in life. Um... And she took my headphones off, so now I can't hear what I'm saying. But um, I definitely think that my dad had a lot to do with my upbringing because, well, all I ever knew was the military. He, he When I was born um, in the 80s, we traveled all around the world. We went from Germany to Florida to California to New Mexico to Entirely. Missouri. Entirely. And a lot of the things that I learned from... My dad uh, was to not judge people. Um, I always looked for ways to help people even at a young age. And so, <laughs> you know, I got a lot of those examples from my dad. And this is getting really intense with her writing on me. I actually told her right before I went live to not come over here and, and bug me because I had a show put on for her. But um, it's <laughs> it's turning out to be the quite opposite of that. So. Hope y'all don't mind that my Hope rug rats like to mind. jump around on me um, during these. Kind of distracts me from <laughs> what I want to say. So this is my everyday life. Welcome. This is so um, weird. <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay, guys. We got to chill out now. I want to hear. No. Okay. Let's chill out now. 
Okay. All right. Ugh. Okay. Okay, can you go back into the uh, room now and, and go do what you were doing earlier and, and watch the movies, please? Aurelia, can you help her? No, Aurelia. Aurelia, help her real quick, please. What do you need help with? Nothing. All right. I think I've reset the, hit the reset button. Okay. So, that was intense. Welcome, Frank. Hello, Mr. Frank Dufresne. Thank you for your comments earlier, by the way. Um, that was really meaningful. I'm glad that I shared that post and it uh, impacted you the way it did. Thank you for commenting on my stuff and supporting um, the message that I'm trying to raise here by incorporating family, you know, the military, the music, uh, you know, just... Everything I'm trying to do is all captured in one thing here, and I really, really appreciate everybody's support so far. Um, <laughs> I uh, want to go back to Todd's question. You know, I, I try to do my best to instill the things that I have learned from my parents into my everyday life. The, rattle, the rattling of the rapper was getting into the microphone. Um, and... You know, like I said, my, my mom and dad are the ones that instilled that in me. So the biggest thing is my mom had to do a lot of stuff by herself because my dad was deployed a lot. He was also on TDY a lot. He worked some really crappy hours. But when he first joined the military, he was in security forces, so it was really demanding. Um, and then he went to crypto maintenance, uh, which is more along the technical side, but he didn't really like that as much. Then he went and became a paralegal and retired as a paralegal. So he was a lawman, you know. So... I got a lot of my justification, a lot of my reasoning, a lot of my finding a problem and fixing it guidance from my father and my mom because, you know, I had to troubleshoot. Pro I was the oldest brother. I was the man of the house. I was helping my my mom out with things, and, you know, I took that to heart. That was something that my mom wanted me to do. That's something that my dad wanted me to do. Nobody wants to see your fruit roll up, Aurelia. <laughs> And so, you know, I uh, I took that to heart. You know, my dad said before he left that he wanted to tell me that I was the man of the house. So I had to make sure that I was doing the parts of they're being a man of the house by protecting my brother and, Chris, and being there for my mom. Chris, they're actually not bracelets. They're scrunchies because I'm a visco girl. Oh, she's a scrunchy visco girl. I do. <laughs> that also includes a hydro flask. And what else? Vans. Vans. Or metal straw. Metal straws. Because what? Hmm? Save the turtles, right? Yep. Save the turtles. Save the turtles. So, but I've taken a lot of stuff on my own. You know, um, I, I grew up wanting something for myself. And that was, I wanted to leave behind something that people can, I guess, live off of. I want to leave behind some form of a legacy. You know, I, I want my name to carry on for a generation or two. Uh, and, and the biggest factor is because my brother and I are the last two living male ruffins in my family tree, in my line. Oh. Um, from my direct ancestor of Edmund Ruffin all the way down, I'm not going to have a son. I have three girls, and... That's where it stops for me. My brother is the youngest of the two. If he doesn't have any kids, then that's it. The I Ruffin family story. name from this point on does not continue on. Aurelia, can we hold your stories for later, please? Thank you. It's, real, it's quick. Okay, it's real quick. What? So, every time I discover a song, yeah. and I feel like mom's not going to know it, mm -hmm. she does. Like, right after, like, the day right after I learned the song, like, she's out here singing it, and I'm like, yeah. Your well, mom's pretty good at that. <laughs> She's really good at knowing songs before I even know them. I don't even know how. She, she memorizes artists and who produced it and all kinds of extra information. So, so literally, the only two songs that, that I Maybe we'll have just have the uh, Chuck and Aurelia show from now on. We'll just talk about what Aurelia wants to talk about. <laughs> uh, anyways, like the only two songs that I memorize, like the only two songs that I've memorized are... Mm -hmm. Royals and Queen of Bean from the same year too. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Anything else? Mm. Well, I've kind of like memorized "Shake It Off," but like. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, 
what was I saying before? I was talking about um, what I wanted to leave behind. That's what it was. Uh, Alyssa Ruffin mentioned to me in a comment. She's probably scrolling through Facebook right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's what I want to do is I want to leave behind a legacy. I want to leave behind something that, you know, people I'm want to look forward to. I uh, want my career to be something that is uh, impressionable on other people. I I always want to try and have a positive image for people. I want to be that role model. Um, you know, I, I want to, I don't know. I just, it's just something that uh, I grew up, you know, you only get one chance in life and I'm not trying to be selfish or like self-involved or like, you know, any one of those things. But if I'm going to be here for the one time of my existence, why not do everything in my power to make it worthwhile? And by doing so, I, I want people to follow that path with me. I, I want people to be empowered by the things that I'm doing. I would love, you know, for everyone to be Hi, Mom. at Even the same pace that uh, I'm on and, you know, follow in my footsteps and, you know, and, and a lot of people have done that. You know, I, like I said, Allison, you know, started a nonprofit for yep. Flags for the Fallen. And she said ultimately it was because I was doing so many things with the community that she felt like she needed to do something. And, you know, I, I actually thought that was pretty awesome of her to say. And then what really kind of solidified it for me is the fact that it ended up in a newspaper that she actually said my name and said, hey, a friend of mine in the Air Force inspired me to do something and so here i am and you know that was that was huge for me it's like wow like this is exactly what i want to do you know i i take things that inspire me i try to do the best i can at it uh, for instance the mission 22 piece it's very near and dear to me as being a part of an organization that is supporting uh war fighters warriors who come out of trying times and looking for help and assistance in life and you know mission 22 does that it gives them you know a vehicle to stay alive and that's important to me yes there are other nonprofits out there that do things like 22 until none or the dv farm or disgruntled vets as a forum to voice your opinion on you know processes and things that aren't working out for you you know it's it's identifying those vehicles and those forums for us veterans that's important and then you know on top of it i've been able to compound a really interesting piece and by bringing in music Alyssa ruffin is my wife and she's doing a lot of things in music but she's also a military spouse and you know we've recognized how important that is because she's had to deal with stress on her own you know she's had to deal with the fact that i've been deployed away from home She's had to raise the girls all by herself, especially when I go on TDY or eight weeks of training and I'm only able to talk to her for a few minutes of the day. Yeah. You know, that's a lot yeah. of stress and, and things that she endures uh, by herself. But what we try to do is also bring in the music piece to try and, and provide something that's therapeutic um, and, and uh, homeful. What? <coughs> no, not right now. Mm. Another day. We'll do that another day. She wants to sing for you guys, but we'll do that another day. Right now, it's about topics that I have outlined, and I have to get off here soon. So we'll sing another day. <laughs> um, all right. So, yeah, and that's, and that's really the importance of what I am trying to do with this forum here with the What's Up Chuck piece is I want to incorporate all of the different things. Um, you know, the music, uh, Mission 22, I want to help provide – people the resource a one-stop shop to come in and find uh, nonprofits or organizations that are out there supporting veterans um, you know I want to be that vehicle for them and I want to share music as well you know whether that be shows here on the West Coast or shows here in Sweet. Colorado Search or shows in another state you know by all means you know if you have oh, music that you want to share by all means uh, share it with me oh, and and my youngest is here now. I think she just woke up from a nap. Yeah. Um, and I am the little sister. Yeah, the little sister. Well, I'm going to uh, just head off. Hello, Miss Snow Susan. Hello, Mr. Jesse Long. What's up, buddy? Um, 
I feel like my video is being shared Daddy, quite a bit. Coffee? Yeah, that's coffee, sweetheart. <laughs> wow, 17 views already. I know, it's a lot, huh? <laughs> uh, so, you know, that's kind of the vehicle here. Is Hi. The What's Up Chuck forum is is a way for me to incorporate the music, the, the mission, and the military, and to try and bring those three pieces together. And you can see I have kind of all that represented in my, you know, there's my Mission 22 logo, there's Hi, Alyssa's Alexa. logo, and there's the What's Up Chuck. Hi, Alexa. Hi, Alexa. Alexa's watching. Hi, Miss Christina Mandrell. What's up, y'all? Thanks yeah, for joining me. Um, um, said that Alexa said hi. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. So, you know, here it is. That's What's Up Chuck. And, of course, I'm sure some of you have joined my shows beforehand. Uh, and, and I call them my shows. I guess there are more of my segments. But, ultimately, you know, I want Thumbs these up. videos to be Thumbs something up. that the kids can Thumbs find up. in the future. And see how they interact on camera as young youngins. Um, and then, also, I want to be able to leave behind something that they could search for in the future, kind of like a video blog of sorts, you know, um, kind of like a video journal. And like I said, I want to leave behind something that carries my name on for a while. And the internet, I don't feel is going to go away. It might get stagnated or destroyed or who knows in the future, but I'm sure these videos will be out there loitering in the interwebs, you know, doing God knows what. Um, and you know, well, who knows what will happen in my future? You know, nobody ever knows what the tomorrow brings. So, at least with these, you know, Where if the kids needed that? something to read or watch, that? they can, you know, look back on these videos and mm. see how awesome they were when they were on camera with their dad, or yeah. how attentive they were to listening to what daddy has to say, well, uh, or how not interruptive they were <laughs> well, when no, watching me start. on the live videos. Um, and being here so you know I appreciate everybody that comes in and jumps on uh, you know I give my shout outs as I can you know do whatever I right at the beginning because I know that's kind of like the important time is address and say hi to all the people right at the beginning and then you guys just stick around and listen to me talk for another 20 or 30 minutes well, or so I enjoyed my time with all of you people on the internet <laughs> but I'm gonna go take a break for just a couple minutes and yep. like get back to my normal life. <laughs> there. Okay, Aurelia, good. Thank Bye. you for joining me today. I will be right back. It was awesome. Now I have the youngest here. This is Aspen. She's hanging out with me for a minute. I think she just woke up from a nap. Uh, Brittany oh. Baxter is asking me what would I do for a Klondike bar. Uh, considering there are so many flavors out there now, I probably would do uh, about 50 cents worth of stuff because that's about how much it costs to buy one. Um, if I had a Klondike bar in my presence, I definitely would ask for one, but I try to stay away from the sweets as much as possible, because metabolism is slowing down, you know. <laughs> uh, Colorado Phil is joining me. What's up, man? You know, I've tried to accept your friend request a billion times, but you have too many friends, and so it's um, it's kind of hard to accept somebody's friend request whenever they have more friends than what they're allowed to on Facebook, which is 5,000, in case anybody was curious <laughs> how many friends that is. Um, so, all right. So, I'm going to wrap this up because Morty on the Move is coming on soon. He's got a special two-hour segment coming up. My daughter feels like that, that note needs to be in front of my face right now. So, in order for me to wrap this up, I do what I always do is I tell them what you're going to tell them. Then you're going to tell them. And then you tell them what you told them. So, going back to Alyssa Ruffin's campaign. Boom. There's a quick screenshot. All right. So, we're looking at Alyssa Ruffin's campaign. Don't forget, it's still going on. Um, she is currently still trying to raise money on the campaign. And, of course, again, sneak peek of what's to come on Sunday. Alyssa Ruffin will be launching her new website for all this cool merchandise that's available. So check it out. You know, Be on the lookout for her page. Don't forget that this is coming soon on a screen near you. And I'm pretty sure you won't be disappointed with the products because they're all high quality, really great descriptions. Oh, Alyssa's jo uh, joined me in the background. Check it out, everybody. Say everybody say hi. Oh, right. Hi, I Alyssa. I forgot you can't hear me because we have the headphones on. I've been here for a minute. Uh, <laughs> I can hear you now, <laughs> um, now that you're talking. And so what would you – what's up? You're just saying – oh, she's wearing Sabotar's T-shirt. Look at that. Yeah, Sabotar. What's up, Sabotar? 
Yeah, I was just actually reading some comments from Adam Diedrich <laughs> earlier, and he was doing all the shout-outs, <laughs> I think, for everybody on the post for Amanda Gentile. That was pretty intense. Um, of course, uh, again, going back to the tell them what you told them earlier, I don't want to forget my good friend Allison. You know, go out there. I sent a bunch of invites for the Flags for the Fallen. She's got another event coming up on the 1st in her hometown in Comanche near there going a, and uh, putting more flags out on the on the headstones um, definitely go out and support them if you can give hi, her page hi. a like Alyssa says hi in case you didn't hear that Todd uh, yeah she's reading the comments <laughs> um, and you know I, I forgot to bring up the green alert earlier today which is a bill that you know Congress is trying to, to support and pass and this will help you know allocate resources to states that are have missing veterans and you know the green alert is just one of those bills kind of like the amber and the silver alert for senior citizens that's just something that is out there in congress right now trying to get passed by senators so if you can go out to the website there and uh try and put in your information and vote for that yeah, i was uh, curious can you do you see these comments when i do watch uh, parties nope i do not okay. see those comments when watch parties okay. are on uh let's see i got some more comments Hey, everybody. Kaylin. Oh, what's up, Kaylin, man? I'm sorry. I didn't even know you were up there, dude. Um, Lonnie, I saw. Jesse, I did see you pop in. Uh, how you doing, brother? How's everybody doing? Chuck Hedrick, how you doing, man? Uh, she's showing me all the comments. So whenever the watch parties happen, in case anybody didn't know, I don't see those comments. So uh, I can't see Alyssa as her logo is right in her face. That's true. The logo is oh, right sorry. on her face. Uh I can try and do something here. Like, let's see, I can move it <laughs> while she's there. Boom, I moved it. So it's out of the way. So you have more people. <laughs> uh, Ryan A. Bowman, what's up, man? Everybody's standing high. Christina Mandrell, I did see her pop in for a minute. You're going to grow old and gray and full of wrinkles. Thank you, Jesse. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> we all are, I think, at some point. Uh, there is a watch party. I guess Alyssa decided to host a watch party, which is why my. <laughs> Things are going up. Oh, uh, Frank Dufresne, love you too, man. Again, you know, I appreciate your comments on my post earlier today. That I didn't realize that some of the stuff that um, I post is actually impacting people the way it does. And Allison had shared that video to me a couple of days ago with the American flags uh, and the, uh, the high school kids coming down. And uh, I waited on it for a minute because anything that's shared to my page, I like to read and review. Um, and if it's something that uh, I feel like I can share it to the page. I'll go ahead and share it as myself and then give the shout out to the person that sent it to me just so that way they have that recognition because, you know, I appreciate them sharing it with me. I just, I get a lot of people sending me some stuff that doesn't really fit the page, so I kind of had to filter it out a little bit. Um, but anything that's patriotic, worth showing, you know. <laughs> uh, and hi to so many other people yeah there's a lot Thanks of people the that joined yeah awesome. so many people joined the watch party thank you very much says, and you, brother yeah love you too man yeah, yeah i hope <laughs> hope, uh, <laughs> hope everything is going well with the recovery <laughs> from the surgeries and stuff so um what else did i have today hey, I, morty on guys, the move is coming up soon do you guys think that i look this is this is my i'm an officer's wife outfit so this is how i went to the store yeah this is Today. true. <laughs> That's very true. We, uh, I went, I got up out of the shower and I had my flannel on and walked out and she's like, "Okay, fine, I'll do my hair." I brushed my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'll brush my hair. I was like, "You don't have to worry about that." So, <laughs> by the way, what's your code for patriotic is AF? Oh, my code for patriotic AF is I am patriotic AF. All one word. Um, I haven't really put that out there the past couple of days. I've been kind of focusing on getting Alyssa's uh, merchandise started again. Um, we're actually working on a tour for her and working on her getting recording. So, who's? Uh oh, Aurelia's back. All right, she's back. Oh, I'm sorry. Kevin Briggs, what's up, man? Been a long time. Thanks for joining, buddy. So I'm about to wrap this up. Okay, I got about ten more minutes. Hello, Dustin. Again. Oh, what's up, Dustin McCandless? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm sharing all the big announcements. Don't worry. 
they they will want to hear you uh, talk about your stuff in the future. Um, I promise. Hello, Dustin. Because not everybody's on here watching me. Dustin, because that's my uncle's name. But hello. Uh, a tour, woo, sunny side bound. Um, maybe, Chris. I said we're working on it. <laughs> and just uh, wait for the details. Yet to come. Yet to come. Um, and so, again, thank you for joining me. I appreciate everybody that's here. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what I should do with these shows, uh, they are an hour long. I try to minimize the amount of interruptions, but it's impossible with a dad of three kids and a house full of uh, girls. So, um, I uh, wasn't supposed to say anything. Sorry. <laughs> um, Try to keep it a secret, <laughs> but you just kind of. Yeah, but you know how bad I am about that thing. Anyway, uh, so. <laughs> Mom. Yeah, it is the Alyssa and Girls show with Chuck as the co-host. It's definitely becoming that more and more. That's okay, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> Something to look forward to each week, I guess. <laughs> it gets the fix in. Um, I personally don't have any nonprofits, but I support others that do. And I like to be able to voice what those are. And I appreciate people coming out and supporting me. And I appreciate that, you know, the more and more I get on here, the, the more interesting it gets. Um, Again, don't forget to go out and check out Chris Gulick's page, Token Civilian Friends. If you've never been able to join the military or haven't joined the military but have military friends, your way to participate in the military community is by joining the Token Civilian Friends and seeing all the cool things that Chris Gulick <laughs> shares. Am I being my uh, If I had one of those, Chris, it would be great. This is uh, my boy impression. All right. So what else? I think that's <laughs> it. I think that's all I'm going to do today. I hope you guys enjoyed me drinking my cup of coffee. I'm going to go take a nap before I have to go into work tonight. I have to work yeah. from 11 to 7 a.m. Yeah. Unfortunately, I did get some new uniforms, so that'll be kind of cool to wear today. <laughs> um, anyhow, uh, thank you again. <gasps> when for do we get the What's Up Chuck shirts with that logo? Oh, Chris, yeah, that's a good question. Those. I did have a logo in mind. I did share some ideas back in the day. About some What's Up Chuck shirts. I don't know if I'm going to do merchandise. I'm not Welcome that big. Love your post about the things that are important, too, instead right. of the most garbage people post. I hope I said Thanks, your Kevin. name right. Um, or, I don't know. Yeah, I tried to. Oh, that's Rich Bridger, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, I tried to share stories that are good news related. And uh, one, for instance, is the Lompoc one. So, um with the tattoo parlor trying to raise money for the local police department. Crime has risen in this area, and it's not good. They don't have enough uh, money, I guess, to support the police officers here, which is really sad. So, Anyhow, uh, that's what – no, that logo. Oh, you want the What's Up Chuck logo, this one yeah. right there. I have not put that on a T-shirt design because it's a we picture. Should. I don't know how well that's going to work on a T-shirt, though. Well, to... it would probably work on a white shirt. Well – that's that's why I put it out there. If anybody has any ideas on how to improve the logo and the design, you know, let me know. Also, I'm looking for ideas. Also, just in case you want to make like some fan-made merch, that's totally fine. <laughs> fan-made merch. We'll see. All right, kiddos. Um, it's time for me to get off here. I have some important Adios, things amigos. to do. I gotta help get the kids wrapped up for dinner. Morty on the Move is coming on soon. Again, they have a two-hour special coming up. It's Halloween, so it should be frighteningly interesting. So please don't forget that. Allison just went live now. She's showing her dogs. Um, you guys have a good one. Take care, Kevin. Later, buddy. I'd buy one if you put one in a hoodie. All right. I'll consider that in the future. Um, John Phillips, join. I'm about to get Jack to send you the original image. I will uh, ask him for John, it. John, you're late. Um, I've said goodbye like six times now. But I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks again for checking out my videos. I live stream usually on Wednesdays, live at 5. What's up, Chuck? By yours truly, Chuck Ruffin. I talk about anything in the military, good news stories, veteran nonprofits, those that are supporting veterans. Music is a big factor. Music, military, and the mission are the three things that I talk about. 
um, and I support my wife's endeavors and try to market her as much as possible. Um, and, you know, I'm always thinking about you guys all across the U.S. because I really appreciate your support. Um, I live stream this through Facebook mainly as my interaction tool, but it also goes out to YouTube and to Twitch. Um, it's going out to three different venues as we speak. So if you can't catch it on here, maybe you can catch it on another uh, page, whether it be YouTube or Twitch. So, again, thank you for joining me. My name is Chuck Ruffin on What's Up Chuck. This is my co-host for today, Aurelia Ruffin. Yep. All right. You guys have a great evening. Adios. Thank you for sharing your questions. Peace out.